Hello, beautiful Sagittarius, and welcome to the channel. My name is Erica. Um, I am a psychic medium, oracle, prophetess, whatever you want to call it. Um, welcome in, my loves, if you are new here. Welcome for the first time, and those of you guys returning, welcome back. I'm going to start off with some love oracle cards. We're just going to kind of get the energy around you guys right now before I dive into the tarot. Um, okay, so I like right as I hit record for you guys, uh, <laughs> I heard this song, I got the power. Da, da. I don't know, I can't like think of, I mean, I can hear it, but I can't think of like, I can't translate it out right now at this moment, but I got the power. All right, I think it's like, I don't know, early 90s late 80s, early 90s, somewhere like that. That could be resonant, like that could be around the time you guys were born. Maybe it was a significant time in your life, I don't know. But you guys have the power to do something, right? I've got the power. I think that's you guys realizing your power, right? Like I feel like you guys are really realizing how strong you are, how powerful you are. Um, I'm getting like energy work, so it's like you're really diving into like the law of attraction, you're working with that energy, you know, and with energy, some of you guys are energy workers, like uh, maybe you're a psychic, a medium, uh, a healer, Reiki, I don't know, could be a lot of things, you know. I'm um, getting the word synergy, synergy. Feeling the synergy, okay. I'm also getting feeling the spark. Feeling the sparks. Now I'm getting the sparks fly and like fireworks, which is like passion and you know, all these things. Something happening quickly. All right, let's see. Ooh, yeah, soul. Okay, so you have some kind of partnership here, a soulmate. I feel like too with the word soul, it's like you reconnecting to your soul in such a powerful way. And then I just saw 222 and 223. Your soul is preparing to reconnect. Trust the process. Okay. Um, you know, reconnect doesn't necessarily mean reconciliation. It can. This could be a soulmate from the past, but this could also be like a past life soulmate who is you're reconnecting with in this lifetime maybe someone you haven't physically met yet it's going to be a warm embrace here um i'm getting kwan yin energy here um, i'm also very drawn to like the light pink like the carnations i love carnations i think they're just so beautiful and they smell so good maybe um you guys need to buy yourself some flowers or have fresh flowers in the home it, it's all of, I mean, it really like helps to shift energy and it really uh, brings forth an energy of like beauty and, and love and self-love, you know, all of that. Very drawn to like the light pink color too. Commitment. <laughs> Commitment is an important factor to achieve a successful relationship. You know, with commitment, I'm actually hearing non-committal. Not someone was non-committal. This could even be you guys, like recommitment to yourself, self-love, um, commitment to you know things you gotta you wanna achieve. Um, but yeah, this is dev, it's true love. True love comes when you least expect it. And then on the bottom here, I'm is the eleven eleven card. 1111 is an important number for twin flames. It symbolizes the harmony and balance of soul counterparts. You could have a relationship, you could be in a relationship where maybe things are leveling up to the next level. Getting it right this time. So again, it could be for some, some in a relationship or a partnership where you guys are recommitting to each other. Maybe you're renewing wedding vows. But for me, it's, um, it's like I said, recommitment to self. And since you've been doing that, you're, 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 someone's coming in that's mirroring you. 
It's like this, th this person is mirroring. Maybe they've recommitted to the things in their own life. And then you have the yin and yang card, which is a twin flame card too. Okay, but not everyone tuning in is going to be a twin flame, um, you know, but that doesn't matter. It's just, a, a you know, someone who, who matches your, your frequency, someone who um, matches you in, in, in ways that you deserve. It's like a healing partnership, you know, like the yin and the yang symbol, twin flames contain an aspect of each other's character within themselves. Okay, but I mean, obviously, let's. To state the obvious here that it definitely can be a, a twin flame, you know, especially if you have found your way here to this channel. I'm a twin flame reader, so you guys could be seeing a lot of like references to engagement rings, wedding rings. I'm hearing diamonds are forever. Um, and then and then diamonds are made under pressure. Okay, maybe you feel like you've been under pressure lately. Um if this is someone that you're reconciling with, like maybe someone you've been in separation from, like a twin, like if you're on the twin flame journey or if it's just like a, whatever, a soulmate that you've been in a separation from, I'm getting pressure in the heart chakra. So you guys could be feeling like energy, like some pressure in the chest area. Okay, that could be things that have to do with you, but like you know, and of course, right, like if something persists or doesn't, you know, use your, be discerning, use in, your intuition, you know, if it's something, you know, you feel like you should go get checked out and do that. But I'm getting more of like an energy pressure uh, in the heart chakra area. I think someone needs to release, release some pressure from their, from their heart. Like if there's been a buildup of energy. You could be feeling that from your person though. All right, let's get one more, please. Rejoice, embrace your loving connection and rejoice. Okay, so yeah, this is definitely like someone, I'm getting tuning in. Who knows, like maybe your person's tuning into tarot, watching tarot readings, but for me, it's like they're tuning into the soul, they're tuning into, um, I'm hearing reality. <laughs> so maybe they were a little detached from reality there for a while. Um, it's like they're tuned in, tapped in and turned on, okay? So they're tuning into this, this feeling, this love, this partnership. It's funny too, because I was just speaking of like pressure in the chest, heart chakra, and then the next card out is two hearts. So that's confirmation for me. Two hearts joining together in union. It's true love. True love comes when you least expect it. I split the deck. This is, yeah, like someone who's watching you. person thinks about you a lot they're letting go of they're leaving something behind here that other wand against the wall they're they're holding on to that ace of wands this is someone who wants new beginnings in their life passionate new beginnings I'm getting like the pa I have no passion in my life like I'm not happy I, I have no passion in my life okay so that's like the recommitment to self that could even be resonant to you guys you know, in the recent past, or maybe you're feeling like this now, and this is like an incoming energy. Um, three of swords, separation. So I'm gonna take these two. Look at, and then we have the knight. <laughs> then we have the knight and king of cups. Okay, like, and look at his heart chakra. Look at all of the energy and light beaming from his chest. You can't make this stuff up. I'm telling you guys, I can feel it. I'm a very strong empath in that way where when I'm reading people like personal clients or whatever here like I that's how I pick up a lot of my readings and the messages you know because I can feel it this is madly in love oh my gosh look who's hiding after the king of cups and I'm, as I'm saying madly in love the lover shows up with the ten of cups and I'm, I'm hearing release my burdens. And now I'm hearing, um, that song, uh, by Steve Miller band, uh, beast of burden. I'll never be your beast of burden. So someone is like, they felt like they would burden you with their life. It's I'm trying to, this just fell off in my lap. Five of cups. Look at all the cups. Cups, 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 lovers. Three of swords, two of wands. This right here is what's causing this person to take action.
Someone has some splaining to do. <laughs> they they have some splaining. Um, they want to explain. That's what that's what the message is. But it's like it's like they're coming through and they're like, I know I have some ex explaining to do, Sage. I know I do. That's what's been holding them back too. They were fearful of um, emotional communication, rejection. Again, like they were fear. You know, they they've been fearful of like. It, you know, Sagittarius is so amazing and, you know, I, I have so much respect and, you know, uh, admiration for Sagittarius. I think that, you know, Sagittarius is like, a, you know, like it's almost like that I, I'm not good enough energy, but it's, it's more like if Sagittarius really knew me and like really knew my life, they would not want to be with me. That's, that's, that's the message here. Okay. But this person has been like, for the pressure that I felt in the heart chakra, we've gotten multiple confirmations and we even have the pain in the heart right here. Someone could be an influencer. It's coming through very strongly. Like I'm getting like someone here making a lot of uh, like reels or TikTok videos. You could have a platform on YouTube. Maybe it's Instagram following. Okay. Um, if you are an influencer, it, it even could just be like your regular social media pages. Um, but it's like this person, they watch you. They watch you through a screen. See how she's looking um, through the glass? Someone watches you through glass. They watch you through a screen on their phone or computer, whatever. Probably the most for a lot of you guys like their phone. I'm getting like all day at work. <laughs> so while they're at work, they, they look up, they look you up. Um, you know, maybe there was a third party that this person is leaving behind with the three of swords, five of cups, and the wand, two of wands over here with this wand being left behind. She's not focused on this wand. Yeah, I just got confirmation chills on my left leg, which is our divine feminine, it's our feminine side. It's why we when we right get married. Um, they, you receive the promise of eternal love on the left hand because you're receiving that. Um, okay. So stuff's about to speed up, heat up. The wheel of fortune is here. Um, very much like your guys' type of energy right here. A lot of you know, optimism, a lot of like really good fortunate energy. Like you're going to feel like, like you know, life is really changing. Life is really shifting. Like this is what I've wished for. Okay. Um, let's go a little bit further. Let's go a little bit further. I'm going to take this out. Five of Wands is after that. Conflict, battles, confusion, followed by the Seven of Cups. There's so much emotion here with all these cups. This person really loves you. Okay, and I know this is not this is gonna be for like a few of you out there. For some of you guys, you're in a commitment with someone and they're fearful of losing you. Now, the other part of that message is for the rest of you guys who've been in a separation from this love, from this true love. This is the romance of a lifetime, you guys. This is true love. And this person feels it, they know it. It comes when you least expect it. So the other part of the message is someone who is, um, and then the counterpart to the king shows up. Yeah. This person is getting into their heart big time instead of in their mind. I feel like this person is someone who is like a busy person. Um, they, like I'm getting workaholic. They work a lot. This could also be you guys. There's something about your energy and your love that like, it's like a purification for this person. Um, look at like, see how she's got like the water energy here or whatever. And it's, for me, it's like a protection energy. It's also like a very pur purifying cleansing as if it's like all around and like cleansing the aura. And you know what I mean? It's like that person is just like, I'm surrendering. I love this person. This is someone who has not told you how they felt. This is not someone who for many of you guys 
have um, like when they start to like connect to their emotions, they get like tied up in knots. That's what I'm getting. Okay, I'm also getting like emotional abuse. Um, so this could be you, Sag, too, but someone who's had a lot of emotional abusive relationships or they just, I don't know. When they think of love and like being vulnerable, they immediately attach it to pain, to failure and fear. Okay, for some of you guys, right, like, if you've, like, I don't know, there's just something about this person watching you through the screen, and, like, they've seen you really change, and they've seen you level up in your life, and start new things for yourself, and, you know, just, I don't know, it could be a lot of stuff, you know, let's say you started working out, okay, they see that you're, like, loving on your body, your physique, you know, eating healthy, you're looking good, um, there is a lot of physical attraction, but mostly this is like this, this person is very like in, in their feels. Yes, they're attracted to you. They're worried. This is what I was going to say is like this person is worried that you have people just like falling at your feet, basically. Like it's, it's almost like this person has, you know, I know this person has you know, other people like fighting for their attention and wanting to, you know, get to know them or take them out. This person could have anyone. Why would they want me? It's something like that. Okay. Um, tell me about this uh, three of swords and this five of cups, please. Someone looking out to their future. Mm, yeah, this is a pending offer here. This is someone who's been holding on to this for a while. There's some kind of 3D communication. 3D emotional communication. This person has like been balancing their life. This is uh, clarifying all of the Three of Swords, Five of Cups, and the Two of Wands. Um... For some, they've been handling business because like, that's what I just heard. I just, I'm hearing that like taking care of business every day, but I literally heard also I got handling business. I'm handling business. I've been handling business on my end. You know, I was very confused before. I, I associated love with pain and failure. I owe you an apology and I know I need to explain some things. I want to explain some things. The nine of wands, as, as I'm saying that, like I was very guarded. I had walls up. I blocked you out. I blocked you out, yeah. For some of you guys, you may have, you know, you might be, you, you might be a little guarded with this person like kind of like not suspicious but more like are you really coming forward and have you really changed like have things really shifted well justice showed up as i stopped shuffling libra energy we're in libra season although it may not be libra season when you watch this video who knows um which it's fine that doesn't mean it's like not you know for you Mm. facing their shadow it's like her shadow and this is like her other side they could have had some kind of like family drama or just things that were close to their heart that they couldn't let go of quite yet or they were still holding on to. They've gone through a deep spiritual transformation, which has helped them release a lot of, you know, things of that nature in their life is what I'm getting. 
you feel like family to this person or this person recognizes you as a soulmate. I'm getting like, I'll always have your back. Okay. So let's clarify. Oh, not, well, not really clarify, but just give us some more messages here from Intuit Oracle. So I send you guys love. Um, let me know in the comments below. Affirm, yes, this is my message. I claim this. Um, and let me know how it resonates with you. The end mutable. Yeah, it's the end of a season. Empathic. You guys are like very empathic. This person is more, it's like, again, reconnecting to the soul, to the emotions. Um, connecting to their intuition. They're empathic too, though. I mean, these are both empaths. This is someone who's now seeing both sides. Libra energy is like that. Libras are, you know, it's about fairness, equality, like seeing the both sides of things. Um, I'm a Libra son, which is why I say this. Like, we don't like, like, chaotic, con conflictive energies. Like, we, in we intellectualize, we process in the way of thinking and, um, this could be a message for some of you guys too. Like sometimes we can intellectualize our emotions. Just think of our emotions. Like it's like you think of how you feel instead of actually feeling how you feel. Something about you have to let yourself actually feel it. Like really feel it. How do I feel right now? How have I been feeling? Let myself feel that way. What emotions are coming through? What, you know, there's something about that. So yeah, that's going to be for some of you guys. But at the end of the mutable, like mute, um, muted, like it's like this person has been quiet. Mm. This just fell off in my lap. Um, the truth takes, the mask comes off and the truth is revealed. This person has been hiding, disguising or and concealing like their true feelings for you. For some of you guys, if there was a third party, they've been internalizing it because they couldn't share. Like they can't, I mean, who, you know, if they're with someone, like, you know, maybe they have some people that they can talk to about it, but it's like, it's almost as if they felt like, I can't talk to anyone about this because if my third party karmic or whoever finds out, like if someone accidentally says something or they don't trust people to not share their, their secrets. So they, they hold them in, which is, you know, pretty smart because most people aren't trustworthy. Most people, are gossips most people are um you know they it's like i don't know what it is but like when you share you know open up with people a lot of times it doesn't matter who it is they will share your stuff you know and i'm not saying like don't trust people but i don't know be discerning with people you guys be careful with who you share things with um but that's what this person That's, that's what this person uh, has been feeling. Like, I feel all this stuff, but I can't, you know, okay? Like, they're tired of internalizing things. They want their life to reflect what they actually feel inside, okay? So, and that goes in all ways, you know? And that's for you guys, too. The beaver. Okay, so beavers are like master manifestors. They like, you know, transform ecosystems, literally, um, when they create their homes. New things on the horizon, determined a repetition, making dreams real. Someone who's very determined to make dreams reality. The element of fire, expect the unexpected very impulsive and energy someone views you very sexy okay the word sexy is here how they feel is larger than life maybe this person has been hot tempered in the past ego centered right um they're very excited to like come towards you they're excited but it's like nervousness too okay let's just get one more if you guys want to book a reading with me, you can find the info down below. If you want to hone in on your own, you know, situationship or twin flame journey or whatever it is, spiritual guidance, um, there's a few options there. 
So yeah, this person has been like hoarding their emotions. Secretive, exactly everything I just got done saying about internalizing and being secretive, like they couldn't share their true feelings for you or just the fact that they wanted to change their life or they wanted to break up with somebody or do you know what I mean? And I feel like what happened here is things just got so obvious. Like this person just couldn't fake it till they make it anymore. Like they just started wearing exactly how they feel on their face and stuff started going downhill from there. Okay. So I don't, again, like take what resonates. Um, you have two cards, like basically almost back to back of expect the unexpected and be prepared for anything. Be prepared for anything and expect the unexpected. We have 8, 14, and 18. Those could be resonant numbers, date of birth, something like that. Um, I don't know. You guys will know. Um, and let's just end with one. You know what? Let's end with, a, with an angel card, an angel message card. Let's see. For Sagittarius, thank you again for hanging out with me today, you guys. I hope you enjoy your message. Um, and thank you for subscribing and liking. It really helps the channel and um, I appreciate it. Next Saturday, a week from today, I'm doing um, in honor of the 1010 portal energies and the new moon solar eclipse energies and just everything in general that's going on right now, energetically speaking. Um, astrologically speaking, uh, I am doing, I was guided to do a, a sacred starseed circle, lightworker circle, um, where it's quantum healing, activations, and manifestations. Um, I will be doing a collective reading for it, like the group, and it is interactive. We get to like talk and ask questions and share and like, you know, all these things. So I'm excited for it. Um, if you feel called or guided that you want to be a part of this, it's very powerful uh, work that we're doing. And uh, the people that have, um, you know, attended in the past, I've only done three other ones. This is my fourth. Um, they really do feel the shifts and they really do feel the activations, their spiritual gifts, like they're more motivated. They, I don't know, there's just all kinds of stuff. They get downloads, they start, it's like crazy. Like everyone's a little different, but you know, it's all below. Uh, crystals. Okay. So the energy of crystals supports you and helps with your present situation. So whatever is going on in your life right now, my loves, um, you know, like I spoke of like the heart chakra and pressure in the heart chakra. If you're feeling like, you know, um, energy shifts or things going on in the body, or you're feeling intuitively something about like your chakras or whatever it is, but like, you know, like the heart chakra would be like, um, you know, like, uh, crystals like malachite and where I have like actually I don't know where I have my crystals at I had like malachite over here somewhere <laughs> I'm like I don't know where it went oh it's probably over here um malachite amazonite um is great for for the heart the beautiful green energy emeraldy energies um and of course like rose quartz is a wonderful one for the heart chakra and self-love um you know, healing and stuff. And what I would do is just lay down, you know, um, on a comfortable surface, your bed or whatever, and literally just go into like a meditative state or like put on frequencies, um, for the heart chakra, or like if it's the root chakra or the solar plexus chakra or the third eye chakra, place the crystal directly on the energy center. Okay. Um, and then, um, just do some breath work and set the intention of um, unblocking and clearing um, any attachments or like, you know, uh, dense energies or energies that are not yours or anything of that nature. Um, okay. But yeah, some of you guys are, you know, getting more into crystals or you work with crystals. Shield yourself. Okay. So you could be using crystals for, for, for shielding. But this is literally about shielding yourself. Protect yourself from harsh or fear-based energies by envisioning a cocoon of healing light surrounding you. Mm -hmm. Okay, Archangel Michael here. Okay, so Archangel Michael, um, call him in to assist you in shielding. I feel like, you know, some of you guys already work with Archangel Michael. 
but there's something here about that at this time. Okay. So have a beautiful rest of your day, my loves. Thank you again for all the love and support and I will see you soon. Bye.